Dr. Eric Albrecht, thank you so much for joining us for one of our REUK21 five-minute interviews. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much, Ami. Thank you very much. Um, it's really exciting for us because this, uh, this, I believe, is going to be your first REUK meeting. <clears throat> we were really hoping that you would be able to join us in person, but unfortunately, it looks like it may be remote, but we, we remain positive and keep our fingers crossed. But Eric, tell me, what is it that you are most looking forward to about the REUK21 meeting? Actually, I look really forward to this meeting because it is organized by great experts in regional anesthesia. And there will be other great experts from North America, from other parts of Europe, and it will give us a chance to a chance to, to share our experience in in the clinical practice. Absolutely. I think it's it's nice to be able to have uh, if, I guess the virtual environment allows us to bring people in from all over the world without having to worry about travel and all the rest of it. And we still manage to benefit from your from your knowledge and from your experience. Why do you think, Eric, that we should encourage people to sign up for this meeting? What do you see as being the main benefits to somebody who registers for the meeting? I think one of the main benefits of this meeting is the, the ability to, to learn a lot of clinical purge on how to perform regional anesthesia with confidence and with a very high success rate. And I think this meeting will very much focus on, on how to be very, very efficient in, when you do regional anesthesia. Absolutely. And you, you're focusing in or you're featuring in sort of two components of the meeting. One of them is the upper limb uh, symposia, where you'll be talking about ways to prolong your block. And the other is talking about regional anesthesia in extremes of physiology, where you're talking about obesity. So exactly. I'm really looking forward to some of your tips and tricks there. Now, if you've watched any of these videos already, you'll know that we always finish the video by asking our experts to name their favorite blocks. Somewhat artificial, but um, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna ask you to name your favorite upper limb block, your favorite lower limb block, and your favorite trunk block. So to start off with, what's your favorite upper limb block? So actually, I have two, two, uh, two, 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 two blocks that I really, really like, but if I have to give only one shot, I would say that I really like performing an interscaling brachial Ooh, flexing okay. block. And probably because this is, this is one of the blocks that I studied the most. So you've learned about no, the really. most and you've published, you've published the most on it and you sort of have a, a deeper understanding about it? Exactly, exactly. And also, also it's a blog that I perform like daily, daily, many, many times. And actually I've got a lot, a lot of, of tips and tricks to share. Oh, okay. That sounds exciting and intriguing. Go on, I'm going to let you, let's say we were allowed to let you have the second upper limb block. What would you have picked? Actually, I would take the, the supraclavicular block Ooh. because I think it's a very, very easy block to perform. It's very, very quick and the success rate is very, very high when you know, really know how to perform it properly. Interesting. So you've fallen into the same camp as Dave Johnston who talked about supraclavicular block. He doesn't understand the whole fuss about infraclavicular. So interesting. Okay. So now if I was to um, ask you to tell me what your favorite lower limb block is, what would you say? I, the, 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 my favorite one is probably the the, the the sciatic nerve block at the popliteal crease because I think it can provide a lot of good analgesia for a, a wide range of surgical procedures, and actually I really like it. Okay, okay. So popliteal approach to the sciatic nerve seems to be relatively uh, a popular block choice here, which is interesting. So let's finish up now by asking what your favorite trunk block is. You've got lots of options to choose from. So actually, yes, there are a lot, a lot of different options. And again, as you said, the choice is a bit maybe artificial, but if I have to pick one, I would say probably the PEX block. Ooh, okay. That's a... block, yeah. So tell me, why do you think the PEX block, apart from the fact I know you published on this, why do you think the PEX block is one uh, that you would pick? I would pick this one because it's, it, will, it provides an analgesia for breast surgery, as we all know. And we also know that breast surgery is associated with a quite high incidence of chronic pain. And the idea now is to reduce this incidence of chronic pain and probably by performing a PEX bug, you can achieve this goal. Excellent. Eric, as always, very insightful and very considered answers. 
Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in some way, shape or form at RAUK21. Take care, Thank my friend. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.